together that released red pajama data set that has fueled a family of llama models has started releasing their new set of models 3 billion and 7 billion parameter models today completely open source apache 2.0 license that you can start using it for research and commercial purposes and that is what we are going to see in this video about red billion red pajama 3 billion and 7 billion inside family of models including the base instruction tuned and chat models let's get into the details of understanding what these models are and even before that like let's take a step back try to understand what is this red pajama project this is the red pajama so what is the red pajama project and uh, if you're not familiar with the name red pajama i would like to say that there was a rhyme or something like kid story that says llama llama red pajama so this probably the name came from there it aims to create a set of leading open source models to um, understand the ingredients that yield good performance a few weeks ago they released the together group released red pajama based data set based on the llama paper which has actually led to huge amount of open source development for example models like mpt open llama open alpaca all these models are trained on uh, the red pajama data set because that's what has been giving them llama like performance but today the same group together has released red pajama insight models that includes instruction tuned and chat version of this model so there are certain learnings that they have got let's understand about the learnings first of all there are they're releasing two versions of the model one is a 3 billion and seven parameter 7 billion parameter base model that ultimately aims to replicate the llama recipe as closely as possible and now they are also releasing the other models which are the instruction tune and chat models According to them, the 3 billion model is the strongest in its class and also the small size it makes it extremely fast and accessible. Even to run on an NVIDIA RTX 2017 machine that was released 5 years ago. A lot of people have uh, bought this version of NVIDIA graphics card because you know 5 years ago people were interested in gaming and uh, that time GPUs were not as expensive as today and a lot of people have this graphic card and they want to run these cutting edge language generation models and thanks to red pajama 3 billion model you can run this model in the 2017 rtx nvidia graphics card which is not new which was even released five years ago that's great news the instruction tuned versions of the models achieve stronger performance on a benchmark called helm as expected on helm the 7 million model performs 7 billion model performs higher than the base llama model by three points we recommend using these models for downstream applications like few short entity extraction classification or summarization in natural language processing these are the downstream tasks you take a base model and then use them for for example creating sentiment classification or summarization or entity extraction named entity extraction or anything else like few short so these models the instruct fine-tuned models that they are releasing seem to do really good at these downstream applications or at least in this benchmark so they're suggesting you to use this model for the downstream application so if you are wondering let's say in your organization you want to build a classification system what is the model that you need to use ideally you can probably use the instruct fine-tuned red pajama model because it's one open source available for commercial use as well and it has code really well the 7 billion model especially has code well better than the base llama model the 7 billion model which is 80 percent the training has been done is already outperforming the pythia 7 billion model so pythia is another model um, today we have a lot of open source models so what they are claiming to say is that the 7 billion red pajama model is already outperforming with 80 percent training is already outperforming the pythia 7 billion model which is showing the importance of a bigger data set and value of a red pajama based data set so they're claiming to say that the data set that they've built is kind of good, versatile, robust. And um, so, so you can see that with even 80% training, the model Red Pajama 7 billion model is doing better than another model, which is called Pythia 7 billion model. Based on the observations, we see a clear path for creating a better version of the Red Pajama data set, which we will release in the upcoming weeks that will go beyond the quality of Llama 7 billion. We plan to build models at large scale with this new data set. We expect differences between the 7 billion Llama 7 billion, our replication, which we have investigated below. 
and you can get into the details of um, all these models like the kind of techniques that they have used but the most important thing that you need to notice their red pajama data set is an 1.2 trillion token data set and um, that has indeed fueled a lot of models so what are the models that they're releasing these are the models that they're releasing one two three four five six so first is the base model the second is a chat model red pajama inside chat three billion model and then they have got the seven billion base model seven billion chat model and respective instruct models model designed for few short prompts fine-tuned using the same formula as gpt jt but eliminated all the data set overlaps with the helm benchmark so you can see that if you want to build a chatbot this is ideally a model that you can try if you want to use model for fine tuning this base model is something that you can use if you want an instruct fine tune model like for example you want to give a paragraph of text and then say give me a summary of this or you want to create tweets and all those kind of things then this instruct 3 billion version 1 is something that you can use if you do not have powerful gpu but on the other hand if you have got powerful gpu then you can use the 7 billion parameter models and also you can see the details around uh, the training loss how with um, you know the higher number of tokens you can see the training loss has been coming down uh, and that's that's another uh, interesting aspect like the 3 billion model has stabilized at 800 billion tokens here you can see uh, 3 billion model has stabilized here the 7 billion model continues to improve as it completes training to 1 trillion token. So you can see uh, it's as it's going, you know, near 1 trillion, it's continuing to improve. Let's see what is going to happen there. But all the details around the models and uh, their scores are available here. One of the benchmarks that they talked about is the Helm core scenario. As you can see, the Llama 7 billion model has scored 0 0.465, but the Red Pajama Instruct Fine Tune model has scored 0 0.465. 453 and you can see all the other models um, what they have scored like the Pythia model the GPT Neo model the base model and as you can see you can see it for the instruction fine-tune like the zero shot environment as well like how this has scored and how the other models have scored overall this model seems to be actually a good model again uh, until now I've not tried the model but when you look at certain examples that they've given like this has these are example queries from the open assistant paper so one of the question is like imagine a world in which time travel has become possible it would open up a whole new world of possibilities including the ability to change the past present and future this could have a significant implications on our society understanding of history science and the university itself now this is the response it has given quite a long response and in fact a detailed response this is open assistance response this is Pythia 2.8 billions response fine-tuned with the uh, Open Assistant Dataset and Dolly 2.0 and you can see this model which is fine-tuned with Open Assistant Dataset and Dolly 2.0 and it's quite good and you can see um, other questions as well why is Shakespeare such a renowned writer that is still studied so heavily you can see the response Shakespeare is still studied so heavily because of his mastery of English language his use of language is so beautiful and intricate as it has that it has inspired many modern writers and you can see the coherent text i mean that's that's at the end of the day that's what we want we don't want it to hallucinate a lot and we don't want it to have rubbish text as well like we want to strike a balance what is the process of creating a successful youtube channel from developing a niche and creating a content to building a community and monetizing a channel probably this is something that i need uh, but you can see the detailed coherent steps starting with develop a niche create high quality content build a community Monetize your channel. In fact, like it gives a bunch of ideas. Probably I should start trying out all these ideas. Promote your channel. Grow your channel. Monitor your analytics. Continuously learn and grow. And uh, it's quite good. Like honestly speaking, it's, uh, it's quite good with the kind of responses it has given. Uh, these are like very, you know, generic things. What if you get into certain specific examples? Like for example, write an email to my friends, inviting them to come to my home. On Friday for a dinner party, bring their own food to share. And this is the email it has written. This is from the Pythia data set. But this is the email. Hi everyone, uh, I'm excited to host a party on my party on Friday. And uh, I hope you can join me. We'll, uh, have, we'll be having a casual dinner with a twist. Where we'll br each bring a dish to share. And you have got the details. I hope you can join us. Um, I look forward to cooking and eating with you. Create a list of things to do in San Francisco. 
and this is the list that Pythia created and this is the list very chat GPT ish response that this has created. Like I said, I've not trained this model. Uh, I've not used this model yet. And uh, I mean, it's quite obvious thing. Anytime you see these examples that are mentioned on a paper or a blog post, these are cherry picked, of course, like it's not like somebody randomly wrote a prompt and then they got the response and they pasted it here. Nobody would want their model to look bad on paper. So I would uh, definitely would like to try myself and then try it out. But the reason I am releasing this video even before I tried this model is because um, if, if uh, you get a chance to try this, let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this model? I link all the details in the description and all these models are available on Hugging Face Model Hub. So you can right away just click, go there and then start using it. Like you can, you can very well start using it without much of a fuss and most likely it should work on, um, on a decent GPU. Let's see what happens. Let me know in the comment section. I might, you know, create a separate tutorial about how to use this red pajama insight models. But until then, see you in the next video. Happy prompting.